All right, so linear inequalities in two variables, section 2.5. Last couple days, we've talked about linear equations. Now we're going to talk about linear inequalities. Who remembers what an inequality looks like? It's a what? What's an inequality symbol? Less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. That's what we're talking about today. Okay, so we're talking about linear inequalities in two variables. Basically, we're talking about inequalities um, with the equations of lines. A linear inequality is an inequality that can be written in one of the following forms. Y is less than mx plus b. Y is greater than mx plus b. Y is less than or equal to mx plus b. Y is greater than or equal to mx plus b. Or y cannot equal mx plus b. Where m and b are real numbers. So basically what we're talking about today is we're talking about equations of lines with inequalities. So linear inequalities. A boundary line. A boundary line is a line that divides a coordinate plane into two halved planes. Okay, and we're going to talk about some boundary lines today, um, which kind of split up or break up our coordinate plane. All right? But yeah, today we're focusing on the linear inequalities. So if you know how to graph, you should be doing pretty well today. Tips. You'll want this page. This is going to be pretty helpful for you. Tips page here. For an inequality, y is less than or y is less than or equal to. Now, does everybody see it's less than? Less than means like lower. Does everybody agree with that? Yes? Okay. Yes. So if I'm talking about a graph now, y is less than or y is less than or equal to, I'm going to shade below the line. So what that means here is if I have a line, I'm going to shade the area or region below that line. That's what that means. Okay. For an inequality greater than or greater than or equal to, I'm going to shade above the line. So now if I have a line here, I'm going to shade above it. Okay, so that's kind of the important parts of shading. If you just think about what the inequality means, that will help you. Less than, I'm going lower. Greater than, more than, I'm going above. Okay. A dashed boundary line indicates that the line is not part of the solution. I use the dash boundary line when I have less than or greater than. That is a dashed boundary line. So less than or greater than gets me a dashed boundary line. And then I have a solid boundary line that indicates the line is part of the solution. Solid boundary line is less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. That indicates a solid boundary line. And then again, I would shade above or below depending on if it's less than or greater than. Okay. And then I can choose a test point above or below the boundary line to test whether the shaded region is true or not. What is one of the best test points to always choose? Zero. 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 Typically, the best test point to always choose is zero, zero. That would always be a good one. So here's what this one looks like when it shows up. It's coming slowly. There it is. So here's what it looks like here. Graph inequalities. We're going to graph inequalities like this. Y is less than or equal to 2x plus 1. Well, in order to graph, I need to have a y-intercept, and I need a slope. So I start at my y-intercept, positive 1. I have a slope of 2 thirds, so from there I go up 2 over 3, up 2 over 3. Okay. I get my line here. Connect my dots. Now, it is a solid line. Does everybody see why it's a solid line? Because it's less than or equal to. That equal to part means solid line. Now, it's less than, so less than means lower. So I shade the area lower than it, and that's my inequality right there. So we are graphing inequalities today. So if it was greater, why would you shade on top? If it was greater than, I would shade on top. You would? You wouldn't put yeah. I would put, I would, if it was greater than or greater than or equal to, I would now shade above the line. Okay. Yep. So, for instance, here, let's look at number one. It says, graph the inequality y is less than x minus 1. Now, this is in slope-intercept form. So, it's in slope-intercept form. I first, need, I first need to identify the slope or the y-intercept. What is my y-intercept here as a coordinate? King? What's my y-intercept as a coordinate? Uh, zero, negative 1. Zero, negative 1. So, on the y-axis, I go to 0, negative 1. Next, I need to find my slope. What is my slope going to be here, beast? My slope? Slope is 1, so it's 1 over 1, right? 
Slope's always what's associated with the X. There's an invisible one there, degree beast. So from my Y intercept, I'm going to go up one over one, up one over one. And I keep going. So that gives me coordinates here. Okay. Now I need to identify my inequality. It says less than. Is that going to be a solid or dashed line then? Less than would indicate a dashed line. And it's less than. So am I going to shade above or below? I'm going to shade below. So that's your answer right there. Is one not negative one? Is what? Is My slope? Yeah. My slope here, because it's what's associated in front of the x, so that's like a positive one, and I'd write that as positive one over one. My y-intercept is negative one, yes. Yep. And that's my answer right there. So we're looking at graphs. Let's try number two. It says, graph the inequality y is greater than 3x. Again, in order to graph, first thing I need to do is identify my y-intercept always. What's my y in? Okay, what's my y-intercept here going to be? Anybody? Zero. Does everybody see it's like saying plus zero? Because there's nothing on the outside, so my y-intercept's at zero, zero. So I start at zero, zero there. Next, I need to identify my slope. Well, what's my slope here? Three over one. So from my y-intercept, I'm going to go up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1, up 3 over 1. Or I could go down 3, left 1. Now I'm going to look at my inequality. Solid or dashed line? Dash. That is a dashed line. Do I shade above or below it? Above. So again, some people are like, well, it's tough to see where it's above at. If I pick a point and I just kind of move it up and I just start shading, that's where I get above. Does everybody so see that? everything on side of that line. Yep. It's everything on that side of that line. It's one below the three, though. It's three over one, because it's technically so slopes rise over run. So it's never it's a whole number. I always want to write it over one, because that's the run I have. So it's rise three over one. Because three divided by one is three. Yeah. So whenever, yeah, whenever it's a whole number, we're always write over one when we're talking about slope. And how do you know to shade over one? Um, because it's greater than. So granted, I went above the line. Now, yes, it looks like it's to the so left. The X is on the right side of the, or if it's on the left side, it's less than. Nope. The arrow's going right. It's above. Yeah. Going it's about my arrows here. So less than, less than, or equal to, I would shade below. Greater than, greater than or equal to, I shade above. Okay. It. So it's all about what the inequality symbol is. Thank you. Yep. All right. Let's look at number three here. This is kind of a tricky one. Graph the inequality y is greater than 2. Okay, so graph the inequality y is greater than 2. Well, what's my y-intercept here going to be? My y-intercept's 2. Oh, yeah. My y-intercept's 0, 2. Yep, my y-intercept's always my constant. What type of line am I going to get there? Remember? It'd be okay. Well, what type of line? I, I need more points here. I can't just have that one point. Well, would it be a vertical line or a horizontal line? Which one is it? It would be what beast? It is horizontal. Remember, y equals is always a horizontal. Okay, y equals gets me a horizontal line there. Okay, because that's like saying my slope is zero. That's like saying y is greater than or, equal, or greater than zero x plus two. Well, that zero means I don't rise at all. I'm just running. Didn't you do it too high? Oh, I did do it too high. Thank you. Nice job. Okay, now, solid or dash line. Now look at my inequality. Solid or dash. That's a dash line. Do I shade above or below? I shade above. So it's that one right there. Okay. I don't what? Yeah, you will need some graph paper today. Yeah, the big key here is recognizing when you have that vertical horizontal line. Always need to be able to recognize that. Try this one on your own. Okay, take a couple seconds. Try this one on your own. Identify the y-intercept and the slope, and then graph it. I need to identify my y-intercept. McCoolidge, what's my y-intercept? What's my slope? Uh, Jace, what's my slope? 
2 over 1. So from there, I'm going to go up 2 over 1, up 2 over 1. Or I could go down 2, left 1. Solid or dashed line, King? Shade above or below, Crump? So I should get an answer like something like that. Nice job. Next one. Try this one on your own. Same idea. Try number five on your own. So if I look at this one, number five here. We found the y-intercept. Y-intercept we found was 0, 1. Oops, there it is. So I started at 0, 1 here. My slope was negative 2. So my slope was negative 2 over 1. So I'm going to go down 2 over 1, down 2 over 1. Now it's going to be a, a look at my inequality. Greater than, so it indicates dash line. And greater than, I'm shading above it. So I do something like this. All right. Next one now. Great question here. What do I always want to graph in? I always want to graph in slope intercept form. So y equals mx plus b form. So in order to do that here, I need to solve for y. Well, x plus 2y is greater than or equal to negative 2. How would I solve for y here? I would move the x to the other side, so I subtract x. I get 2y is greater than or equal to negative x minus 2. What would I do next then? I would need to divide by 2. Now again, when I divide by 2, I'm going to divide everything by 2. Giving me y is greater than or equal to negative x over 2. That's like saying negative 1 half x, because there's that invisible 1 there in front of the x. So negative 1 half x minus 1. Now I can graph that inequality. Do you not have to flip the sign? I would not flip the sign here. Why not? Because my y is positive. So I'm not dividing both sides by negative. If I were dividing both sides by negative, then I would need to flip that sign. Correct, sir? So if that was negative 2, then you divide. If that was negative 2, I would flip that sign then. Yep. All right, so take a couple seconds to graph this one down on your own. All right, so let's look at this here. I need my y-intercept. <laughs> Beast, what's my y-intercept? Zero, negative one. What's my slope, beast? So I'm going to go down one over two, down one over two. Solid or dashed line now? That's a solid line. Above or below? I shade that above. Nice job. Next one here. Let's walk through this one. X minus two Y is greater than or equal to four. I need to put in slope intercept form, so I need to solve for Y. So to do that, I would subtract x on both sides, giving me negative 2y is greater than or equal to negative x plus 4. Now, notice, what, do I, what am I going to do? I divide by negative 2. Divide by the negative 2, what's that going to indicate with my inequality? I'm going to flip it. So it's y is less than or equal to positive 1 half x minus 2. Now I graph y intercept is at 0, negative 2. My slope is a positive one half. So I go up one over two, up one over two. And then from here is a solid or dashed line? Solid line. And I flipped it so it's less than or equal to. Now I shade below. Okay. Last one. Sorry, we're rushing here. Last one. I want to look at this one. I'm going to change this problem up here. Okay. I'm going to make this x is greater than or equal to 2. Now, if I had y is greater than or equal to 2, that's a horizontal line, right? It says x is greater than or equal to 2. So what type of line is that going to get me now? That's going to get me a vertical line here. Now, technically, there's no above or below. So where would greater than be at? Is that to the right or to the left? Greater than is now to the right, because that is the more positive answers. Because those are the higher numbers. Those are the numbers that are larger to the right. How do you know it's vertical? Because it's x. There's no y. Oh, when, yeah, okay. it, when you have no y, it's always but a vertical. Y is horizontal. Yep. Okay. Yep. So again, recognize that. Greater than there is to the right. And there's your sign.